Good day friends, this is your friend Rajat Babur. I'm about to make a vlog today about IELTS speaking exam. I've seen a lot of people getting nervous about this exam and uh, so do I am to some extent. But uh, I am confident and that's what I want you guys to be. The purpose of making this vlog is to teach people that what a common answers can you expect from yourself or from somebody who's like your status, like me. So, you know, I'm going, I promise you the questions which I'm going to read, I haven't even read it before. I've not even prepared their answers. Neither do I belong from any college or any institute or neither I have to do anything with IELTS. It's just to give you a little bit of confidence so that you must come to know that a simple guy who is preparing like you, what kind of answers he can give. And apart from this, um, you know, you can also add up to it. I wish that all of you get nine bands. I personally am not even looking for nine bands. Neither do I think I deserve nine bands. Well, if I can get six also, then I'll be more than happy about that. So, okay, let's come to the questions. Um, we'll start it over a very important question. It's a little tricky and uh, it might help you. The question is, what sort of crimes are common where you live? Okay, the answer to this question of mine will be, well, uh, my city is getting crime-free nowadays. Yeah, I must thank government and police too for this. But I must say that few uh, crimes which are still to be abolished are still there. Uh, I must say the, the biggest crime which happens in my city is the chain snatching. Uh, it is done by mostly by a motorist who comes on a high pace speed and snatch the gold chain and just run it off. Apart from this, um, there are few pickpocketers who are left, in, um, but uh, our police have made uh, sure that, you know, they keep on patrolling in the night so that the area becomes a neighborhood friendly area and the burglary have actually reduced. I mean, if you see about the census, it has actually reduced in the last few years, which is an achievement, I must believe that. And um, apart from this... Uh, one uh, crime which is uh, uh, not so good is uh, girls getting raped. It's yet to be controlled and I think government is going to take some nice actions for, to control that. Okay, coming to the question number two. What do you think makes people commit serious crimes? Mm, well, I think uh, the biggest example of somebody going into this crime is their... Uh, is the history I must say that because um, you know if you are if you are lacking behind something in your life or if you have gone through a forbidden life or if you have seen some of the harsh things in your life that makes you a criminal nobody is born criminal this is all we know but you know there's some serious crimes which um, are done by people who have actually felt very bad in their life apart from this people who are tend towards buying new things they want everything in their life they don't want to work they just want shortcuts in their life so they also are like some of those who do crime activities and um, last but not the least I must say that uh, there are some people who are doing it for fun sake I mean like I've read in the newspaper the few teenagers who have actually stolen the car for joyride which is not a good thing and uh, it's not even a part of a cultured society. Coming to the question number three, do you think that some form of entertainment such as video games promote violence? Well, um, as me being a gamer myself, I must say yes it does because gaming actually pumps you up and actually boosts you to do things which you can't do in real life and actually promotes you to you can you know you get the idea how to do it and you from the game you actually know how to escape the tunnel you know what I mean it's like you just know how to do the crime and then how to escape so they do definitely um, there is a famous game named GTA Grand Theft Auto which actually teaches you different kind of crimes and um, as we all know gaming have been going really high nowadays and uh, the content age is also increasing so Gaming can adversely affect your uh, future life. So, 
Yes, it does. I must say that. Okay, friends, these are these are little. This was little attempt of mine for you guys.